We want to begin with WBZ's Louisa Moeller, who's live at the Trump election night headquarters. That's in Nashua, New Hampshire, and it's sure to be interesting. Louisa? That's right, Paula. Well, it's early, but President Trump is riding a small victory wave of sorts. He had a decisive win in the Iowa caucus. There are some Republicans who are coalescing around him. And according to the latest CBS poll, he's 15 points ahead of challenger Nikki Haley here in New Hampshire. But his press secretary just told me he's not taking this first in the nation primary for granted. He's going to give a speech here tonight in Nashua. And he did remind reporters today that he got his first taste of victory here in New Hampshire in 2016. This is organic. This is organic. Former President Donald Trump hit the polls in Londonderry, New Hampshire, with a parting shot for New Hampshire's Governor Chris Sununu. They have the wacko governor up here who ran for president, but he didn't have the courage to say he was running. And a knock at challenger Nikki Haley's appeals to independent voters. You do have a wild card here. You have people that could vote that aren't Republicans. What's that all about? Trump is coming off a decisive victory in Iowa and gained the endorsement of several Republicans. Today in Nashua, his supporters said they are undeterred by the 91 felony charges against him. He was stopped by COVID, and everyone talks about the chaos that reigns around Trump, but the chaos has been created for him, or it was created for him, and it was created for him when they started with the, the dossier and impeached him twice over nothing that anyone else would get impeached for. And Stephanie Liu traveled from New York to New Hampshire to campaign for him. Secure the border. A country without border is not a country. So it's very, very serious, you know. And also, of course, high inflation, uh, oil independence. So what's next for Donald Trump? We're told after tonight he'll head back to Florida and just showing how unusual this campaign season is and how unusual Donald Trump's campaign style is. We're expecting that the civil defamation trial against him in New York will restart tomorrow. Live in Nashua, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.